Oh, you're on it hot and heavy. It's April 29th. I'm out here running a pack of 11 this morning. Got a bunch of young dogs. Uh, two years and under. And some of them a lot younger. I'm running uh, Bonnie, Ugga, Awesome, Purdy, Peach. Those are the youngest ones in the group. And then I'm running Georgia, Little Ann. They're two years old. And uh, Rosie, who is three, along with uh, Betty, who's five. And then uh, I also have Bear out here. Bear's four. I'll get a little closer to the action. Running along the edge of the food plot. Thought it might cross right here. The real high pitched squeal mouth that you hear is peach. We had a lot of rain in the last two days, and it's uh, in the 50s this morning, so it's a good morning to run. They seem to be able to smell real good. There's two deer. They just come out of the same place the dogs are running. There's one. That's the baby, and there goes the mom. And I'm going to leave this footage rolling. We got a lot of deer around here. <clears throat>
Now right there's where those deer were, straight in front of me, and those dogs just went to the right. I'm hoping this rabbit will come out here where we can see it. <clears throat> but if they were running that deer, they would have already been out here running it, I'm sure. And it would not have a breakdown like this. Walk over here a little closer. A little land out of Brownie and Buster. I must have put the rabbit in the hole. I don't know. Everybody's coming out. Now they are right there where the deer was, where the deer come out. They crossed it, there comes Betty. Betty smelled the deer, but she hadn't done nothing. Come on. And there is Bear and Peach. Here go, here go, here go, here go. Everybody's standing right here where those deer come out. And I have been running this now for four minutes consistently without breaking this tape. If they wanted this deer, they would have took off on it by now. Come on, Bonnie. Help. There's Bonnie right there. Let her come up here where the deer were. Her nose is on the ground right where they come up. Nobody's paying any attention to it. I'm not saying these dogs are deer broke when they're this young. And I know there are some people, I've had one major critic that always tells me my dogs are priced too high, they're not even deer broke. Anybody tells you a dog is deer broke and it's not two years old yet, I'd be very leery of that person. And the reason that I say these are not deer broke is while they're young and they've come across this deer track and they haven't opened their mouth, if we had some trash runners out here that wanted to take off on those with these dogs being some of them six and seven months old, I fully believe that they would probably go. When a dog is deer broke, in my opinion, is when it turns the deer down while others are running it and comes back and tells on them. Now, Georgia right there, was doing that at 14 months old. But until I see that, I will not call one deer broke. But I will say that my dogs are not deer crazy. You have to work these dogs, you have to put them in situations where deer are all the time, and uh, give them an opportunity. If they run it, you correct it with a shot collar. But these dogs have been on rabbits for a good long while, and so they don't really care anything about it. Uh, a deer, they, they ate up with rabbit won't rat it so uh, can't say one is deer broke at six months old anybody that does is a fool but uh, I just showed you right there that they're not deer crazy Sitting in the room, just hop down into the shadow and back over to the right. 
Hopefully the sun didn't block that too bad. They'll be out looking here in a second. I'll get a little closer. Probably came out and ran right down the little cut I got over there. I believe that was a rabbit that was pushed out while they were running this other one. I, I don't know. We'll know here in just a minute. Well, that's Georgia that came out and got on that track. Two separate races. Try to move down here where maybe the rabbit will cross that. There went the rabbit. Cross down. Just past that pine room. There we go. 